I'm a survivor of human trafficking and exploitation. There is no difference between trafficking and prostitution when innocent women and children are being harbored for the sole purpose of the commercial sex trade. Exploiters and pimps are always violating the rights of these victims who are pursuing their freedom to escape from harm. In reality, no female desires to be part of this nightmare. Our desperate cries for help were silenced by the walls, which separated us from the rest of the world. After months of ongoing physical and mental agony, I became apathetic regarding my life. I did not care if I lived or died. With convincing death threats from my master, I remained silent. The sex trade business continually harbors immigrants as slaves. The sex trade pimps are incredibly organized, know how to blend into society and stage criminal activity as though it were business as usual. America needs to have its eyes open to this reality, which is happening 24 hours a day. People need to understand that the masterminds behind the sex trafficking are very clever, creative, deceptive, and cautious regarding their services and the way in which they enslave women against their will. It is important to understand that pimps emerge from diverse social backgrounds. The majority of the ones with which I had contact had attained status and wealth. My life resembled a fugitive fleeing from one location to another. In the fall of 2000, I made contact with an advocate through the internet. She advised me to relocate to a different state. Since then, I slowly began to heal, trust, and reinvent myself and return to society to make positive contributions. I long to reach out to those who are still imprisoned in the revolving door of sexual exploitation. Truly, their shackles can be broken by people who are willing to tear down the walls of silence and offer them the hope of freedom. They robbed me of five years. They thought they could break me, yet I am still standing and I will stand and voice my experience for the victims who are still held in captive of human trafficking.